Hey guys, it's Dan the Medic. Welcome to the channel. Now today we're here at the Tuscany where we're going for breakfast at the Maryland's Cafe. This was a viewer suggestion. So if you have a place that you really think the food is good and you enjoy, put it in the comments below. I collect suggestions, guys. This suggestion uh, was from like maybe three months ago. I don't remember these things, but anyway. Malin's Cafe. It's just right through the casino over here. Alright, here we are guys at the Malin's Cafe. Alright. Okay, thank you. Alright. Alright. Maryland's Cafe. So the place is open from 7 a.m. to 11 p.m. So yeah, breakfast. Let's get the uh, ooh, steak and eggs for $17.95. Hmm, I don't know. Hi, good morning. Uh, just uh, tap water. Yes, size. Yes, size. Okay. Thank you. By the way, this menu is available online. All right. So, I'm looking at over here. They got country fried steak and eggs. I like country fried steak if they do it nicely. You know, like a like a real country fried steak. You know, yeah. Let's give that a try. And I like to get the uh, gravy on the side because like, that's some potent gravy. And, and if you don't say that, it usually comes all smothered in it. So yeah, let's get that. May I please have your country fried steak and eggs with the gravy on the side? Hey, how you want your eggs cooked? Uh, over easy. Hash brown? Yes. What can I talk to you about? You got sourdough? I do have sourdough. I'll take the sourdough. Okay. All right. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Do you guys offer a military discount here? Yes, they go right at the cashier for you. Oh, so at the end, I bring the thing to the cashier? You need your player's card and your military ID to get the discount. Okay. I, oh, do I have the player's card? I left it in the car. Today. It's okay, they can return one for you at the, over there. Oh, okay. Okay. Hmm. All right. I got the card reprinted. Yep. I, I left it in the car, right? So, uh, like the lady said, you need this card and the military ID to get the military discount. Interesting that you need a card. All right. So, now, uh, for the weekend of Formula One, right? Formula One, I call it, did they call it the F1? I call it the FU, you know? Because that's, that's like how I feel like they're treating the normal working person, right? You know, like, oh yeah, we're gonna block all this traffic and cause all these delays to please some rich people, you know? F1, F, F my, you, you, know, you know what I mean? Anyway, so. Because of such F1, uh, it turns out that uh, you cannot drive into the Tuscany if you don't have uh, a player's card, a hotel key card, or some kind of card, you know, something like that. Uh, I found out on my way in, like there's some guard standing there going, do you have player's card? And I'm like, okay. I guess maybe if you have a reservation, who knows these things, but yeah, F you, is causing so much trouble for everyone. Hate, hate it. Last, I hated it last year. I'll be hating it for every single year. It's not, if they would have moved it, you know, like maybe like a couple of blocks off the strip, then okay, fine, you know? But they gotta go make a nuisance of themselves. F my, oh, getting so upset. I bought a couple of iPads have this here iPad mini
and the refurbished iPad Pro, right? The refurbished iPad Pro is 11 inches. This one is uh, 8 point whatever, whatever, right? Now, the point of me telling you this is because I'm returning these two today, right? Because uh, I wanted something to control the camera, my DJI Osmo Pocket 3, right? Which has an app, right? I've been doing it with my phone and the phone screen is kind of small. I'm just like, ah, oh, God, is it in focus or not, right? So I figured, uh, you know, I'll get something bigger. So this is the mini. It would have been perfect, except that DJI doesn't make an app for the iPad. They only make it for phones. I'm just like, oh God. So when I put that app on this, the picture isn't much bigger than my phone. It's due to the aspect ratio, you know? And then so then I put the picture on the iPad Pro 11 inch. And it's a nice picture. But then the other day I went to make a video and then I realized that there's no way to put the iPad, guys. It's too big. It's too big, guys. I cannot handle it. So I'm returning these, as is life. So I don't know. Maybe I'm going to have to go for um, maybe, uh, like maybe something like an 8 inch Android or something. Uh, you know, these iPads are not working out. Oh, why the Android? Because Androids, right? The aspect ratios, I mean, depending on the device, right? It's more like 16.9, which then is more phone-like. So that one actually works out pretty well. Uh, I had the Lenovo M11, they call it. It's this, this tablet, right? I downloaded the app for that, which is the Android phone app, and it filled up the whole screen, worked nicely. But the thing is, you know, uh, the, it's not a quality tablet. The tablet kind of sucks. So I returned that one too. I'm doing a lot of returns lately. Oh boy, I'm one of those consumers that the uh, people would like talk bad about, but I, no, I had legitimate reasons to return these things. All right, the food is here, guys. Uh, take a closer look. Okay, guys, so first let's try the toast. Mm. It has a nice toast flavor. Mm. Eight point five for the toast. And put a little salt on the toast. You like salt the toast? Yeah, they could use a little bit of salt. Hmm. Dip the toast in the gravy. The gravy needs a little bit of salt. Hmm. Oh, very nice. With the salt, very nice. Hmm. Oh wow. Oh, maybe that's the appeal of a country gravy biscuit dish. 
that they have in some some places like uh, I bet so, um, I think South Point has it at the uh, middle of the night for cheap. Mmm, good. So these here hash browns. Wow, it looks really well done, guys. So crispy looking. Mmm. Oh. I love it. I love it, guys. It's like they went and uh, fried it to the point that it's like potato chips on the outside. It's nice and brittle. Not tough at all. Pretty good. Wow. Nine for the hash browns. Mm. Terrific. Now let's try this here egg. I put the whole egg in my mouth. Oh, it fell, it fell. Oh no, oh no. Very nice and fresh tasting egg, guys. Pretty good. Oh, that's nice, guys. It's like nine for the egg. Mm. All right, now, time for this thing. I swear, guys, it looks like a chocolate chip cookie without the chocolate chips. If you want to just eat it like that. Well, why can't I? All right, cheers, guys. Hmm. Well, as you can see, like it bites easily. It's not like it's tough or anything. Mm. Pretty tasty, guys. It does not need any additional salt. All right, so now let's have a little bit of each. It's the egg, a piece of this here thing, and we'll put some, don't mind this bottom piece of toast. I took a bite out of it earlier. All right. Some gravy. Here we go, all at once, guys, all at once. All at once, I give it a 8.5. Definitely certain things are best separate. Mm. So overall, a uh, 8.5 for the whole thing, right? Certain things are best eaten separately. Like I think the, you know, the hash browns was like super terrific. Nice and crunchy, so good. 
but then if you mix it together with gravy, it makes it soggy. You know, so yeah. Overall, 8.5. Uh, good. It's good, guys. Now, I have to tell you. This here, uh, country fried steak. It kind of reminds me of the chicken patty that comes with in the uh, Burger King chicken sandwich, original chicken sandwich. You know, the one that's kind of like an oval shape. You know, yeah, it got that that taste to it. It does. Might be in the seasoning. All right. So I guess that's it. Thank you for watching. Breakfast over here at the Maryland's Cafe. Tuscany Casino Las Vegas. New Vegas video every Friday.